this event uh, is in fact our first uh, PG event. You know, I, I am sitting here in this same lecture hall where um, nearly 11 years ago this campus started off with roughly about the same students as we have now in PG. 24, 26 students there were and uh, that's how in a very small humble way we began. This too, uh, with all of you uh, signing in and uh, joining in for this invitation that came to you, my dear PG students, from the psychology department to participate in a kind of you know research activity, which is a signature activ activity for any PG student, uh, especially having such efficient guides uh, uh, for you, uh, whether it is uh, for education, Father Dr. Sita George, uh, Madam Priyamrita, or uh, Ranita, uh, Priscilla, uh, you know, so you, uh, or in uh, psychology with uh, Dr. Paramita now who has taken the initiative. So I want to specially thank her for giving this research orientation uh, to this program and to this um, uh, mindfulness study. Now, having said that, uh, so this is my uh, first uh, reason for encouraging as let's say right now uh, leading the institution it's a happy event to see that the PG departments are consolidating uh, taking on an identity of its own and uh, has reached to a level of being able to interface collaborate and uh, co-create so my dear students uh, if you as you have signed in consistently participate in this program for one month that is 30 hours of your time you will become part of the this research project and mindfulness research my, by the way is currently one of the hot areas I have been part through Princeton University the mindfulness institute which is in Rhode Island and uh, you know they have been tracking on uh, let's say those who have been doing mindfulness both to see it's a positive impact as well as it's a uh, if there are any negative outcome uh, as a result of it. So you will be, uh, let's say, able to add to your own CV the fact that I participated in a research program while I was a PG student. Now that apart, why is the department organizing this? If the psychology department is, let's say, the barometer of the health of the institution. So they are tracking the mental health. In fact, at this point, I would like to uh, honor and dedicate this entire program to the founding father of the psychology program in Salishan College, that is Father Dr. Peter Lutz. He was here in this campus for inaugurating the psychology department. And I sent him a note yesterday and he acknowledged and he's very glad to, and he, uh, to know that we are doing this. Um, and he donated his entire um, um, uh, corpus of his own collections, especially on transpersonal psychology to our library and which you can uh, come and see. So, you know, we have this, uh, and he was also, by the way, the former principal of this institution in the late 1960s, uh, when Father Paul probably was a student. So, you see, um, we are trying to carry forward a tradition, uh, though we are located in those years, of course, in the remote hills of uh, uh, Salishan College, Sanada, or now for the past 10, 11 years here in Siliguri, we are trying to say that we have a social, um, you know, conscience and we have a commitment of uh, improving uh, the health of uh, the community and here comes the third reason why uh, I thought that uh, I could courageously invite you and also a little bit insist that all the PG students should participate in this why because when we say that we want to improve the health of the community it begins with us individuals and if we want we are just Others, after their experimentation, have said it is a foolproof method and it will uh, succeed and it will bring you positive benefits. But the proof of the pudding is always in the eating. So, uh, are you ready and willing to participate and uh, to, uh, uh, to join this program and prove for yourself, yes, this uh, participation in this event has brought me benefit. And then it goes on a record. Uh, that you know, so many students participated and they benefited and individuals health is the basis of the family health and of the department or of the community or even of the town and uh, if you read Father Peter Lutz's book which we uh, published 
uh, not long ago, you will find that a transcendental meditation on which he did his own studies proved conclusively that in those cities where there were a sizable number of meditators, the crime level had come down, you know. So here we are in a way and this brings me to my fourth reason why uh, we are inaugurating this in this manner because my dear friends, my dear students, faculty members, as we are sitting and going to do this prayer or let's say prayerful um, mindfulness is in a way the religionless uh, prayer mode about which I will say shortly, uh, we are doing this as our response to what the world is facing. And we know that the world is undergoing stress, strain and uh, there are difficulties of umpteen kinds. And in our own capital city, we know that uh, uh, the farmers sitting on the uh, roadside and how number of them are dying uh, every other day. So uh, we, one would ask, what are you going to do? What are we doing? Uh, how is it pricking our conscience? You know, if it were that we would have a candlelit march, you know, this in a way to me is our mode of lighting the candle. You know, that we are doing here with a kind of conscious choice that uh, every day I dedicate some time, you know, to improve my own health level, my personal self-understanding and my uh, desire for, you know, being more peaceful and contented and happy person. Uh, as that as my commitment towards making the world wherever there is, whether it is a minor or a major conflagration uh, that is uh, going on uh, in the in the in the world today.